everyone welcome back to our online vocal studio if you don't know me my name is Natalia I'm an opera singer vocal coach and a music educator and every single week I post videos about tips how to become a better singer and performer so you should definitely hit the subscribe button right there and get every single week your free tips and inspiration so today we're going to talk about how to become a better singer using really five simple tips so if you want to know Please keep on watching. Let's talk about how to become a better singer and performer with just easy, quick tips you can use. Okay? Now, the first tip I'm going to give you is take a breath with the intention of what you're about to sing. Chanel is really excited too. Chanel, you want to come and join us? <laughs> so if you don't, Chanel is my dog, and she is um, a beautiful performer by herself, I would say. <laughs> so taking a breath with intention of what you're going to say is really going to help you um, kind of physically have your body prepare to what you're going to be singing, and if it's going to be a high note, if it's going to be a certain phrase that it's a little more challenging, with that knowing that what it comes ahead of it, you're going to be prepared physically to that. So definitely prepare yourself to think before every time you take a breath, what is going to happen when you take this exo? What is ahead of you? Okay, so this is tip number one. Tip number two is try to move less on stage. Is it a right, Chanel? She's agree. So moving less on stage and just moving less in general, it's very important as a singer. Now I found a lot of time that a singers use a lot of facial expressions and moving their head or they have a certain tick they use to feel themselves more secure. But guess what? It takes away from the singing, from your actual voice. You can express all those amazing things you're trying to express just by singing, just with your voice. And believe me, it'll be the most powerful thing. Now, if you've been watching the greatest singers all the time, if it's opera singers, if it's the singers we know nowadays, or just whatever age, you will notice they're not moving as much. They're very still, but they're very powerful what they're trying to convey with their voice. Okay, so definitely use this trick. You're gonna be find out that at, at, at the beginning, you're gonna feel very restricted and gonna feel some kind of a stress, but when you're going to learn to trust yourself enough and know that you got it and just use this energy through your singing, it's going to get completely different and you're going to be recognized as a more professional singer. Tip number three, it's obvious, but we kind of tend to forget. Do the preparation that is needed. Okay, so if you have an important audition, important concert, just in general, have yourself a schedule of practice you use daily. If you have only 15 minutes, do 15 minutes. If you have an hour, if you have two hours, more, more, more uh, power to you. Sure, do that. But make sure it's daily. Making sure that you're preparing yourself as much as you can to that specific um, audition or whatever performance you, as ahead of you. Because the minute you're going to be prepared, you're going to really truly enjoy when you're on stage, not thinking, oh, um, I need to do this and this, and I need to do this and that, and I need to think about this note, I need to do think about this way. No, you just want to really focus on enjoying being on stage and not to think about all those little things that are just going to distract you and make yourself a little more crazy, okay? Tip number four, it's kind of relate to um, tip number one, but it's kind of a more and a deeper level, okay? So when we are singing something, I find a lot of time that singers really focus on the technical aspect, which is very important too, I agree. Um, but I don't feel anything because I think a lot of time we're focusing about how we can sound perfect, how we can look the best, but are we really focusing and try to think what we're trying to convey? What is our message? So I really encourage you guys to be more attentive to that. Go deep. 
try to think what is the message I'm trying to convey. If you're singing opera, it's a lot of time very hard because those pieces was written down in the 19th, 18th century, 17th century. And, you know, you found yourself a little detached from all those events that happened that time. But you need to rethink how that relates to your personal life, how you can find yourself in your voice within that. If it's, let's say, a piece you're singing now, don't focus on those trills and those high notes and all those fancy things. No, go really deep. Try to think how that relates to your personal life so you can bring and tell a story through your voice. And that's gonna keep you and bring you to the next level as a very professional performer. And your audience is gonna love it and they wanna hear more from you. Tip number five, it's pretty simple and it's smile, right? We always been told, I know that as, as a performer, I've always been told, just smile. No matter what, you fall down, you're going to sing the wrong note, who cares? Just smile. And it's true, and it's very important. The most important thing is just smiling, right? Um, and it's not only just smiling, it's the way you carry yourself, it's your posture. So when you walk in an audition, and you kind of like already apologizing, and you're feeling awkward, or you're walking on stage and you kind of feel like now yourself and you're thinking so much, you need to really reconnect to yourself, really make sure that you're long and wide and open and smiling and you're really connecting with the people that are looking to you, okay? So I hope that helped and if so, please thumbs up this video and share and comment your favorite tip or your favorite tip you find to how to become a better singer. So, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.